Also tonight, how the community is preparing to celebrate the life of Detective Mike Doty, who was killed in the line of duty three years ago. A lot happening in the Tri-County. Thanks for choosing CN2. I'm Morgan Cox filling in for Lorbury and Lucas. First up tonight, volunteers need it. Now that the new COVID-19 vaccine has made its way to our community, Piedmont Medical Center's volunteer auxiliary is looking to rebuild a volunteer base. Because of safety precautions and COVID restrictions, the hospital volunteers couldn't be as active in the facility or around the community. Now CN2's Rachel Richardson is speaking with the volunteer program leaders about what they're hoping to do in 2021. If you've been to Piedmont Medical Center, you might have noticed pink and red coats along with the white ones. For more information on how you can become a part of Piedmont's volunteer auxiliary team, you can contact volunteer coordinator Susan Malit. You can also head over to CN2.com's featured links page to find out more. Traffic is back to normal after a crash shut down part of Interstate 77 in York County this Friday morning. Three people were hurt in a multi-vehicle crash. It happened around 6.45 a.m. on I-77 North at exit 82, closing all lanes for a time. Investigators say one person had to be airlifted from the seen and two others suffered serious injuries. In all, authorities say six cars were involved. No word on what may have caused the crash. Rock Hill police officers say an 82 year old who was the victim of an assault at their house has passed away. Investigators say the break in and assault occurred on the morning of January 1st of this year at the residence on Ferndale Drive. Authorities say the 82 year old victim suffered serious injuries during the incident and passed away on this Friday. The case is now being investigated as a homicide. If you have any information that can help police call the number on your screen. This Sunday, January 17th, will mark the third anniversary of the passing of York County Sheriff's Detective Mike Doty. Doty and several others were responding to a domestic violence call when authorities say a gunman ambushed dozens of officers in the woods. Following Detective Mike Doty's death, the creation of the 809 Foundation followed. Later in the newscast, we speak with those from the 809 Foundation on how you can help celebrate Mike Doty's life this weekend. Welcome back to CN2 News. 12 years ago today, January 15th, a U.S. Airways flight carrying 155 passengers crashed into the Hudson River. Everyone survived and one passenger lives in Fort Mill. It was a typical business trip for Christy Spears. Today, Christy Spears is retired from her job at Bank of America, and she is the chairperson of the Fort Mill School Board. As for flying, Christy says she flies often and encourages everyone to do the same if they can. Welcome back to CN2 News. As you heard earlier in the show, this Sunday, January 17th, is the third anniversary of Detective Mike Doty after he was killed in the line of duty in York County. The 809 Foundation created in Doty's honor, encouraging everyone to go blue this Sunday. CN2's Renee O'Neill shares more. Join us on Monday for CN2 Today as we honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Join us starting at 1130 on Comporium Channel 102 and CN2.com. That is all the news that we have for you tonight. Thanks for watching and we hope you have a great weekend.